linear and angular speed. Now, say that we have a circle of radius r. So r is going to be the radius of this circle that we have here. And say that we have an object that is moving along the circumference of the circle. So say this object starts there, moves along the circumference to there. Okay. Now, if we form an angle with the beginning and end points of our object, whoops, I missed it. There we go. Then what has happened is that the object has formed an arc length, which we call S. And of course, the angle right here, we'll call that theta. Now, the linear speed of this object, which is denoted by a V, is going to be the arc length, which is the change in position, over the length of the interval T, time interval T. Now, so that is going to be the actual linear distance, even though it's in a curve, <laughs> um, between the beginning and ending points on that circle. Now, the angular speed, angular speed, it's denoted with the Greek lowercase letter omega, looks like a W. It's going to be the angle formed by the object, theta, over that same time period, T. Okay, now it's important to remember that this theta is in radians. It must be in radians. Now, the relationship between these two quantities, and there is a nice simple relationship, is that your linear speed is going to be the radius of the circle R times your omega. So let's look at a few examples. So, once again, just as, as a reminder, let's carry our relationship formula with us because that's usually the one we're going to be using. And let's carry the reminder that theta has to be in radians with us. And let's look at this example. <clears throat> A 45 RPM record has an angular speed of 45 revolutions per minute also known as RPMs, but I don't want to use R since R is our radius. Now, that is not in radians. So to convert it, we're going to take 45 and one circumference of the circle is 2 pi. So we've done 45, so we're going to say 45 times 2 pi is 90 pi radians. This is radians per minute, by the way. Okay. Now, Find the linear speed in inches per minute at the point where the needle is two inches from the record center. So R is two inches. And so our linear speed velocity, which is R times omega again, is two times 90 pi. So exact answer is 180 pi inches per minute. Now, if you want the decimal of that, you will have to choose where to round. I'll say the first decimal place. So put that into your calculator and you can get 565.5 inches per minute. Okay. Now let's go to the next example. This one is a Ferris wheel has a radius of 10 meters, so R is 10 meters, and the wheel is rotating at 1.75 rotations per minute. Anything that's rotating, you can call it omega, so that's 1.75 revolutions or rotations is the same thing per minute. Now that's not in radians, so we're going to do that same trick of 1.75 times 2 pi. And that's going to give us 3.5 pi radians per minute. Okay, 
We want to find the linear speed in meters per minute of a seat on this Ferris wheel. So linear speed is R times omega. So 10 times 3.5 pi. And that's going to give us, of course, 35 pi. This is in, um, excuse me, meters per minute. And if you want the decimal answer, of course, you throw this into your calculator again. And let's round to the whole nearest foot. So 110 feet per minute. Okay. Now, last problem. Let's look at this. This one's a little bit more challenging. And this one really should have a diagram. So we have on a carousel, the outer row of animals is 14 feet from the center and the inner row of the animals is 11 feet from the center. So here is our carousel. Okay. And um, say our outer row is right there on the edge just for convenience. So here's the center. So that is going to be 14 feet. And then we have an inner row, say right there. And then from the center to there is going to be 11 feet. I obviously did not draw to scale. <laughs> okay. Now our carousel is rotating. So Omega at 2.2 revolutions per minute. Okay. And let's just go ahead and change that into radians. So 2.2 .2 times 2 pi, of course, is 4.4 pi. And what we want to do is, what is the difference in feet per minute in the linear speeds of the animals in the outer and inner rows? Round to the tenth of a foot per minute. Okay, so what we need to do for our outer, Okay, our outer has a radius of 14 feet, and so the linear speed, how about we'll call that VO for V outer, is going to be 14 times 4.4, which is 48, nope, no, it's 61, excuse me, I picked up the wrong number, easy to fix is a uh, 61.6 pi. We will not take it any further than that right now in decimals. Now our inner row of animals has a radius of 11 feet. So VI for inner is going to be 11 times 4.4. Oops, I forgot the pi up there. I sure did. Let's put that in real fast, guys. You can't forget the pi. Okay, and when you do that calculation, you get 48.4, which is what I tried to write before. Okay, now, so there is the separate linear speeds, and we want to know the difference. So the difference, of course, difference means subtraction, and we want a positive number here. So we're going to take the larger 61.6 pi, minus the smaller 48.4 pi. And when you do that, you get 13.2 pi. And now if you um, put that into your calculator around to the tenth of a foot per minute, you're going to get 41.5 feet per minute. The end.